A chilling campus murder, decades of silence, then a whisper from the past. How did forensic science finally crack the Arliss Perry cold case? In October 1974, the serene Stanford Memorial Church became a scene of horror. 19-year-old Arliss Perry was found brutally murdered, a case that would haunt investigators for decades. The initial investigation was exhaustive, a massive canvas yielding no conclusive suspect. Rumors circulated, but concrete evidence remained elusive, leaving a community gripped by fear and unanswered questions. Crucially, detectives secured vital biological evidence from the crime scene. This foresight, preserving these samples, proved pivotal, awaiting the technological advancements of the future. Decades later, a dedicated cold case team revisited the dormant files. They meticulously retested the preserved samples using cutting-edge modern forensic methods, a testament to persistent investigative work. This renewed analysis yielded a clear male autosomal STR profile. The silent DNA now had a voice, pointing directly towards a former campus security guard, Stephen A. Crawford. Investigators obtained a court-authorized DNA sample from Crawford. The comparison was swift and devastating. His profile was an undeniable match to the crime scene DNA, a definitive link. As officers moved to apprehend him in 2018, Stephen A. Crawford died by suicide. Authorities officially named him the perpetrator, finally clearing the Arliss Perry case through irrefutable DNA evidence. This case stands as a powerful testament to forensic science. Preserved evidence, combined with modern STR testing, can indeed answer cases once thought unsolvable, bringing closure from the grave. For more deep dives into true crime, forensic breakthroughs, and historical case studies, subscribe to The AI Criminologist. Uncover the science behind justice and join our community of analytical minds.